So, today is the day, where we will do a French baguette guide again. So show me what you got. Yep, I hope the Padoru Eurobeat showed the power of this French baguette well. It was my only chance to use this masterpiece before Christmas is completely over. Just don't check the date on which day this guide was uploaded. Thanks. But okay, after this nightmare guide of a submarine namely the Albacore video, I finally will be able to do a ship type that I actually like. Battleships. The word like doesn't fit perfectly. The better wording would be dislike the least. So let's get right into this video ship, the Jane meme, or how other people call it Jane Bart. The Jane Bart is a French fast battle cruiser from the Richelieu class. Obviously fast since otherwise the French would have quite the struggle retreating. Ah, how I missed bad French jokes. Just saying there will be a lot of them in this guide. Jane Bart was never really finished, since she was in construction, while the Germans were invading France, so what the French people did, is put all of their most important ships to a port in Africa, so that Germany doesn't get their precious ships, but we all know how that went. Well, in the end they got attacked by the Allies, and getting fucked by the USS. Massachusetts and lastly getting bomb raped by American dive bombers. The French getting bullied by every nation, feels bad man. They even asked the Americans if they could finish their battleship, since it wasn't completed yet, but they straight up ignored the request. Feels bad being French. He survived the war and got scrapped in 1970. Because I feel kinda bad for the French, I will change my outfit for today's video. So I hope you enjoy how I look today. Well, after this meme of a history lesson, let's ask ourselves how you can get this ship. Well sadly you can only get the Jane meme during the Iris of the Light and Dark event, where you could get her in the limited construction pool, except you are playing on Japanese or Chinese servers, since they have that ship in the heavy construction pool. Peep laugh, but no worries we will get them in the near future probably as well. Like the German ships. So let's get over the stats then. First of all we would have the firepower. Jane Bart has not the highest firepower among the battleships. She scores more in the upper average for that. But this really doesn't prove too much. Since even when you have a bigger army it doesn't help much. If you don't know how to use it. Okay sorry for this bad joke. Even though she hasn't the highest firepower stat. She still deals massive amounts of damage that also. Can increase with her high reload. And this is because of her skills. But more to that later. As for next we would have her survivability, she is quite tanky for a French, by having a modest of 6900 hit points, and getting one of the better evasion with 23 points there she can survive for a long time. It fits Jane Mean pretty good, since she was already classified as a fast battleship, I still wonder for what that speed stat is on backline ships, well probably one more reason for that high evasion is also, that she was missing one gun for a long time. Talking about missing stuff, this perfectly fits her AA stat. Jane Bart has really problems with anti-air. She has one of the weaker AAs under the battleships, and considering that she only has 70% AA efficiency will not make this better. Sadly I don't have any good French joke for the AA. So let's move on to the perks of Jane Bart. Jane Bart has surprisingly only two perks, and none of them is a barrage. This was really a shock for me, not gonna lie. So, I guess we check out the first perk then, namely Pirate's Soul. The first salvo you fire does additional 60% more damage, but this is not everything, since you also deal 60% more damage if you aim manual. Normally you do 20% more damage if you aim at your target for the people that actually play the game manually. But with a skill it increased to 60%, so be sure you play manual with Jane Bart to get the spicy damage. As for the next skill we have final shot, if you equip the Jane Bart gun, so the quadruple 381, your crit chance increases by 30% and the crit damage by 
so you know what that means. If you get a crit in your first shot, instant death for pretty much anything. Yep yep, this is so balanced that wargaming and Yosta needed to work on this together to create this ship itself. Which brings us to the equipment. So we already know what you should equip for the main battery gun. So take the quadruple 380mm, this gun is absolutely terrible in comparison with other ones, it is just good for Jane Bart, so if I see any of you plebs using it on any other ship, I will hunt you down. And also, don't use other guns on Jane me, otherwise Unicorn will find you. Next on we got the secondary gun, why do I even mention it? Use your triple 155mm gun there. Nowadays we also go the new guns from Operation Siren. Like the triple 152mm mod 1 that does better DPS. But it is not worth it on backline ships. Use it for the front line. And for the AA gun. Well we already know the main gun is bad. So you want to decrease the dispersion on it. Since it is dreadful. The shells go all over it. So you take the twin 40mm Bofors Mark 2. Don't use anything else please, you will miss out on a lot of damage, if you do so. And now the auxiliary equipment, we are rushing through the equipment really fast, I was expecting it to be more complicated. Anyways, you can like always go the typical BB build with two shells, a white one and a black one, which is really the perfect build for Jane Bart, since you get so much damage out of it, you get increased crit rate and even more crit damage, perfect combinations with the skills she has. You might equip a high performance radar for the extra accuracy and reduced cooldown, but the question is, if it is really worth the trade, depends on you, if you like it or not. With that we got everything we need. Jane Bart has her drawbacks, mostly depending on her skills, that also activate in the first couple of seconds, and you know where timing is important. In PvP, being able to delete enemy ships in the first 2 seconds is a blessing on its own. But she is also worth using in PvE, since clearing maps fast for PR grind is always worth it. So with that we have one more ship from the list, and before we finish here, I would like to do a last giveaway, so at least I could somehow thank my lovely community for supporting me, and kept watching my video for almost 2 years already. All you need to do, is write a comment with the hashtag feelsfrenchman and you will participate in the giveaway, where you can win discord nitro again, until next time. Where I will explain you how to survive operation siren, in some way at least.